Hey everyone, welcome to My Alcohol Free Life channel. My name is Terry G. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to smash that like button. I'd appreciate that too. Thanks a lot for stopping by. What I wanna talk about today, I wanna to talk about something that caused me a great deal of difficulty in my sobriety. It really did. And it lasted for a few years after I got clean and sober. And what that was, was mood swings. These up and down moods, these strong feelings of anger, these strong feelings of hurt and pain and victim and all these strong, strong feelings. And I was up and down like crazy. And these mood swings caused me a lot of difficulties in my work relationships, in my personal relationships, in my friendships, all over the place, these mood swings. And you know, it was a hard, hard way to live. And I felt, even in early sobriety, I felt very out of control when it came to these, these feelings and this way I was acting out. And those feelings would definitely convert into behavior. And I just wanna tell you, if you're feeling like that, if you're having big mood swings, you're up and down, you're crying, you're, you're angry, you feel hurt, all those kind of things, and it's really, it's, they're really powerful. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it happened to me and there's hope for you too. You can find your way out of those things. You really, really can. For myself, when I woke up from my alcoholic, alcoholic stupor, I was really, really discontented with my life. And that's something they talk about in recovery rooms, irritable and discontent with life. You know, my alcoholism let me or made me accept things in my life that I would not normally accept, like the relationship I was in, the job I was in, just my life in general. Plus, life got real. I had creditors after me. I was in, I was in court with charges at in early sobriety. I couldn't feed myself. I had no money. I couldn't house myself. I had no money. I had a lot of difficulties going on. So when you look at yourself and you say to yourself, geez, I'm having these mood swings, your life is probably pretty shitty, maybe, you know, because every alcoholic, when we come out of a drunken stoop, when we come out of years of alcoholic, active alcoholism, our life usually is not together. It's usually falling apart. And when you take the alcohol away, it just magnifies those issues 100%. So no wonder we're having mood swings. No wonder we feel out of control because our life, a lot of times, I know my life was, was completely shit when I came out of that drunken and drug stoop that I was in for many years. And I had to deal with a lot of stuff. I really did. I had to deal with a lot of stuff in early, in early sobriety. And that's one of the major reasons why. So things are raw, things are real, and things are overwhelming. They really are. And you're going to ask yourself, how did, how did I do it? How did Terry G figure out these mood swings? Well, man, oh man, it was difficult. I was by myself at the end. I had mood swings, terrible mood swings in my relationship. I was, in, I was unable to be in a, a relationship with anybody. So I had to stay by myself. That was one of the major things I had to do for a while. I stayed for my, by myself. I, I was in a 12-step program at the time. I got a sponsor. Started talking about my life and started slowly put my life back together. I get a job that I liked and paid half decent. Those kind of things, just little things, but they had big impact on my life. So having a sponsor or somebody you can talk to on a daily basis or you know on a weekly basis really helped a lot. I joined a support group. That group can be a recovery group. It can be a support group. In any situation, any way that you see fit in your life, you need to get some support in your life. Because in early sobriety, with all these issues going on, I felt very alone too in life. I felt I was the only one going through it and I drove myself bananas. But I went through these support groups and my support group at that time was a 12-step group and I continue to this day in 12-step meetings for support in, in, in my sobriety. So getting a support group really helped. Going to therapy helped me a lot. I had a lot of issues, childhood issues, you know, that I had to work out. I was in counseling for many, many years uh, due to trauma that happened to me well before I started drinking and things that I did in drink while I was drinking. I needed to talk about, but I couldn't do it in a group setting. I couldn't spill my guts to the things that I had to talk about in a group setting. Not saying that I was better than people. No, it was just a little too private and a little too, that I felt a little too over the top 
to discuss with just regular drunks. So I needed a special counselor, not a special counselor, but a counselor to talk to about my issues. And another thing I did, I made sure that I developed a routine in my life. I got up in the morning, I had some breakfast, cereal, toast, whatever it may be, and I created, started creating a routine in my life so my life wasn't as stressful. I wasn't all over the place, and that really helped with my mood swings. And basically getting enough, enough sleep, not drinking a lot of caffeine either, or smoking a lot of cigarettes. At that time, I smoked. So I tried to cut back and try to get a little more healthier, go for walks, a little bit of exercise. We always hear that, right? But exercise is really important. I don't care if you go for a walk, you get on the treadmill, you get on the bicycle, whatever it is, a little bit of exercise in early sobriety, and even long-term sobriety, really helps you out with your stress and managing your emotions and even gives you a more positive outlook on your life, believe it or not. So those are some things I, I did in early sobriety. But the main thing I did was I started to pause and understand that they are just feelings and stop letting my feelings control my life. And that was very difficult because without the alcohol, letting my feelings con not control my life was very difficult. Did I just say that correct? But you got what I meant. Because when I drank, when I felt angry, I just boozed it. When I felt hurt, I drank. I never dealt with my feelings. So I sat with my feelings and I started to identify my feelings and not let them erupt and ruin my life or ruin my day or ruin my job or ruin my relationships. I had a lot of problems in early sobriety. And the, one of the biggest problems was my emotions. My emotions were out of control. But if you let your emotions control your life, you will have a shitty life. You really will. And I don't care if you're in sobriety or you're not in sobriety, or you're an addict or not an addict. I don't care. It's just life in itself. It really is. But we must understand that our moods are who we are, our feelings are who we are, but they don't, they're not there to run our lives and control our lives. But mood swings will go away, guarantee it guarantee it they will go away okay my name is terry g thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video if you can take a second can you please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it but can you take another second and smash that like button i'd really appreciate it okay thanks for stopping by sobriety is difficult but it's a lot easier when we have a lot we have support people around us and the proper people around us and we reach out for help it becomes a lot easier it really does i have a number of years of sobriety and i would never been able to do it without the support of therapists family uh sponsors alcoholics anonymous i would never been able to do it in my higher power okay thanks for stopping by and ciao for now like i always say stay safe stay sober and i'll see you next week thanks for stopping by ciao for now.